For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Matt Money Shot, sniffing out the college 25 football cheese. EA Sports just released the top 100 players uh, that are going to be uh, rated in uh, college football 25. And I'm going to go over the top 25. I'm not going to go over the entire list because I'm sure there's lots of players on here that people don't even know. But I will go over who I think should have been in the top 25 and missed before going over uh, the top 25 itself. Uh, but if you guys want to see the full list, I'll try to leave a link in the description for you guys to check that out. Other than that, if you guys want to see more videos like this, I'm going to continue to do them all the way up to College 25 and beyond. So make sure to be a subscriber, like button on the comment section. And let's go and let's get right into the video. Now, with guys that I think missed or were underrated when it comes to Top 25, maybe I'm just a Penn State uh, you know, fan and I'm a little bit blind to that fact. But I think Abdul Carter being rated 47th is pretty low. I like his speed, though. They have him as close to a 90 speed as an 89 speed. But I really thought that's a guy that, you know, I know a lot of people, maybe it's the importance of defensive end and defensive lineman, but if you look at some mock drafts, a lot of people have him rated as a potential high first-round pick. So that's a little bit surprising uh, to have him down there. Um, I didn't see, I, I still don't see Isaiah Bond. Maybe I missed him. I don't know if he's a guy that could have potentially been in the top 25. Uh, but that's kind of surprising. Colston Loveland coming in at 33 uh, is probably the best tight end in the nation. A little surprising. Um, I thought he might be a little bit higher. One of the biggest ones, though, Harold Perkins Jr., who I could have swore um, is another guy who's you know looked at as one of the potential highest uh, draft picks in the NFL in the upcoming season. Um, and he's all the way down at 31. I like his speed, though, 92. But uh, that's surprising. Uh, Jack Sawyer just missed on the outside. I, I thought that he could be a guy that looked at like a you know like a potential one of the Bosa brothers as far as um, how good he is. He's ranked at 29th, which I feel is a little bit low. Uh, and then Quinn Ewers also a quarterback just barely missing outside of the top 25. Those are probably my biggest surprises. Xavier Watts also, Dylan Gabriel also, but I don't want to go over you know everybody uh, just outside of the top 25. Now getting us to the top 25, this is a pretty offensive heavy list. I'm not going to go over every player here. I'm just going to go out to the ones that stand out. Starting out at number 25 in Jaden Ott from Cal, the running back. Um, I don't know if I feel like he's a top 25 player. I feel like he's like I said, I would have took uh, somebody, one of the guys that I mentioned, I probably would have had uh, in his place. But I'm not going to say, you know, obviously he's still a really good player. Uh, Travion Henderson from Ohio State, another running back coming at 23. Lots of running backs on this list. Um, he's two, there's two running backs, and I mentioned this, from Ohio State that are both in the top 25 here, as well as a lot of players from Ohio State. Like I said, Ohio State in a previous video I put out, I think probably has the best overall roster in the country. They just don't necessarily have... Uh, the quarterback, like some of the teams around them. But uh, another running back coming up next in Amarion Hampton out of North Carolina. Um, like I said, lots of running backs here. Really going to be a lot of hope that there's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, as far as the skill position players coming into uh, next year's draft uh, because last year's draft for running backs was terrible. But this makes it look like it's going to be really strong. Uh, we have, I'm going to skip ahead of here a little bit. We have some Georgia guys, Mikael Williams, outside linebacker, and Carson Beck. Both in the top 20 at number 20 and number 18. I don't want to skip over a Mecca Abukum, though, at wide receiver because we all know that Ohio State is wide receiver U. Uh, and he's definitely the best receiver that they have there right now. But uh, Georgia and Ohio State are probably the two teams that are most represented in the top 25. Uh, and that makes a lot of sense because, they, to me, they have probably the two best rosters. Uh, Shador Sanders comes up next. And I want to talk about him and Carson back together because they're 18 and 17. And uh, Shador Sanders' speed at 80 feels a little bit low. Uh, they're definitely, um, you know, in Madden, like 80 is kind of like the the average when it comes to quarterbacks. Uh, but for here, seeing Shador Sanders at 80 when he's a guy that I kind of expected to be a little bit higher on speed um, is really surprising. So, I mean, there's going to be faster quarterbacks. But it just seems weird to me that on average, it's like you see running backs and receivers all seem to be on, like, you know, on, on this list anyway, all seem to be around 92 to 94 speed where guys like quarterbacks, and I really didn't uh, notice when I, when I looked at uh, Ewers, but the average quarterback speed, and I'll go ahead and I'll go back to take a look at that real quick, but the average quarterback speed, Ewers is 81. That seems to be around 80 to, you know, in the 80 range for quarterbacks, which is um, even for guys that I expect to be a little bit faster, which is a little bit surprising. But ultimately, um, you know, maybe, maybe that's how they design the game. Maybe they don't want people running around with the quarterback too much. It's really hard to say. Uh, next up, we have Jay Higgins, linebacker, middle linebacker for Ohio, for Iowa. Uh, Barrett Carter, another guy who I thought should be rated a little bit higher. He's coming in at 15th for Clemson, at outside linebacker, um, with another good speed rating, though, at an 89. I mean, 
Um, you know, so so definitely a lot of uh, a lot of good defensive players on this list as well. Tedero McMillan, one of my personal favorite guys. One of the reasons that I can't wait to use Arizona uh, because he's uh, six foot five, great hands, uh, and ninety one speed here is going to make him a, a really good player. I think uh, Mike Evans, um, you know, guys go up and get the ball. Uh, Calvin Banks Jr., the first, one of the highest rated tackles out of Texas. Um, he's uh, you know at left tackle rated thirteenth. Benjamin Morrison. Notre Dame cornerback. All these guys I pretty much mentioned when I put out my top, um, you know, teams to use video because of players like the ones I'm going over here. Luther Burden is a guy who I've heard them compare him to Debo Samuel, um, who's here. He's raised a 94 speed. He's definitely a speedster. I think he's kind of on the short side. Uh, I think he's like 5'10 or something like that. I'm not really sure his uh, his height rating, but uh, definitely going to be. I expect him to be one of the highest rated receivers in the game. Uh, another Georgia guy, the high, I think one of the highest rated linemen, or at least the highest rated interior lineman in Tate Rutledge. Uh, he's definitely, um, you know, like I said, Georgia, they have a lot of guys here representing uh, for this list. Um, but he's, uh, you know, 95 strength at uh, right guard, definitely going to be a bulldozer. Um, Quinshaw Judkins, another guy that I mentioned previously. Uh, that, uh, you know, two running backs from Ohio State. He's a top 10 guy. Speed's on a little on the low side of 89 speed, uh, but he's a 95 overall player uh, and one of the highest rated running backs. I think he's uh, only one running back ahead of him uh, left on this list to go. Mason Graham, who I mentioned in uh, my video two days ago, considered a potential, you know, top five, top 10 pick. Here he's rated uh, eighth, but I think that could be weighted by position because defensive tackle is a more important position than a lot of these other positions when it comes to NFL scouting. Uh, but ultimately, he's a 76 speed. I said he was going to be close to an 80 speed. I guess I, was, I wasn't that far off. Michigan isn't really a team that's, um, you know, they're, I think their overall rating is only like 81 this year in the game. But they have two defensive players in the top 10, which I'll get to another one here who's a little bit surprising in a moment. Uh, coming up at number seven, we got another Georgia player, Malaki Starks. Um, free safety, 95 overall, 93 speed, 95 excel. Um, you know, that's the highest rated um, player as far as uh, Georgia is concerned. Although we still have another guy from Ohio State. So I'm really watching those two rosters the most. Coming in at nine, uh, number six, we have Travis Hunter from uh, Colorado. Um, he's a guy that I thought might be rated number one, especially considering that he plays both ways. Um, here they have him listed as wide receiver. It'll be interesting to see uh, how it looks in the game if they have him playing both sides of the ball. Um, but here they have him also rated as a 95 speed, which is one of the highest speed ratings I've seen. Can't say I've seen a lot of guys uh, that fast, you know, in this entire list. So definitely one of the highest athletic profiles. So moving on, we got Caleb Downs at number five for Ohio State. Uh, transfer over from, um, from uh, I mean, they don't have any Alabama. I haven't seen any Alabama players on here, really. But he's uh, transferred over from Alabama to Ohio State. Guy's got uh, 91 speed, 95 overall. James Pierce Jr. from Tennessee, uh, you know, edge rusher, 95 overall. He's coming at number four. Another really good speed rating at 88 speed. Um, as, as pretty much all the top edge rushers all had around the same speed, 88, 89. At least all the ones that I mentioned um, because there's a couple that I did pass over. Uh, coming up next, we have Ollie Gordon at number three, the highest rated running back. Also 96 overall, 90 speed, uh, but he should have some really high shiftiness. He should have some really high uh, agility and stuff like that. Um, as Ali Gordon uh, is somebody that I mentioned that could potentially be the highest rated player and technically is, even though they have rated third here. Next up at left tackle, we have Will Campbell from LSU. Uh, you know, maybe the best lineman in the entire country. He obviously rated here as the best lineman in the country. 96 overall, coming at the number two spot. And then number one, I'm a little bit surprised to see Will Johnson, who I know is a really good cornerback, best cornerback in the country, but I didn't think he was the best player in the country, and that's where they have him rated. Number one overall, has a 96 overall, and has 92 speed, which, like I said, just a little bit, uh, you know, I definitely have him in the top ten. But if I were to, to re-move this around, I think I'd have Travis Hunter number one. Might have James Pierce Jr. a little bit higher. Um, you know what I mean? Like, he might be number two to me. Uh, I, I don't know. It's really hard to say. Who do you think would be number one or, or number, you know, who's your top five be in college football as far as uh, players' ratings are concerned? As I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, I'll have links to them popping up on screen of videos that I already made. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. I'm shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.